And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio. Army will be hosting University of Massachusetts at Mikey Stadium on Saturday, a game Army really, really wants to win after a five-game losing streak. Who would have thought it uh, back in uh, mid-September after the great effort against Michigan that uh, the season would become so challenging for Army, but uh, chance to play in the friendly confines behind the home fans and the Corps of Cadets. So uh, we were out at Army football practice, had a chance to talk with two seniors, offensive lineman Jake Bomert and also cornerback Elijah Riley. And then we heard from head coach Jeff Munkin. So let's hear from the players and Coach Munkin. See you out at Mikey Stadium on Saturday. And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons America Legion Radio. We're at West Point for football practice. Army's going to host Massachusetts here on Saturday. Chance to talk with a senior offensive lineman. That is Jake Bomart. Jake, good to see you. How is practice? How's it getting over the sting of the Air Force game? You know, it's tough always losing, but, um, you know, we come out here and work. That's all you got to do. Trust your teammates, trust the coaches, and trust the process of coming back from a loss like that. It's tough. Sure. Now tell us, you 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 were a starter uh, this week. Uh, how is it to come into the offensive line and uh, uh, play a key role in a big game? And uh, what was the experience like for you? It was great. You know, academy games are always the best. Um, it was it was good being around my teammates and be able to play with them because it's spent a long time working. So the competition with your teammates, trusting the coaches, trusting what they're uh, telling you to do is really what it's about. Sure. Now tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where are you from? What high school did you go to? I'm from Lucas, Texas, uh, around Dallas. I went to Lovejoy High School. Very good. Well, why did you decide to come to West Point? I saw the people that were, right, were around here, and uh, I like the style. I like that it's gritty here, and um, it's been good so far. Hey, that's great. Well, tell us a little bit. You, you know, you're a senior. It's been a journey. It is for everybody here. They call it the 47 months. Uh, what has been, what's been your, uh, your West Point experience been like for you? Definitely challenging. Um, you have a lot of experience here to challenge you, academics, military, football, of course. Um, but it's really been developing. Uh, you progress as a person, as a leader, as a soldier. So it's been really challenging, but good. Definitely. What are you studying ac academically? I'm a business management major. Very good. That's kind of my field of work. That's good to, good to hear. Tell us a little bit about uh, just uh, as a senior, uh, you got branch night coming up. What is it, what is it like to, to finally be a firstie here at West Point? Oh, sense of accomplishment. You know, it's, it's great getting all the stuff, the ring, the red sash, being able to get my branch soon. So I'm just looking forward to it and getting, getting yeah, close to finishing out here. Well, that is a tremendous accomplishment. All those elements of recognition here as a senior at West Point. Uh, that's terrific. Uh, Final thought, what, uh, uh, I know you want, you're looking forward to playing in front of the home crowd, the Corps of Cadets here on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Home crowd. It's going to be great. It's going to be a good game. Um, can't wait to win. Jake Bomar, senior offensive lineman for the Army football team. Great to meet you. Best wishes from everybody at the American Legion. And, and really, that's going to be a special branch night for you next week. Sir, thank you very much. Pleasure. It's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at West Point. And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at West Point. I have a chance to talk with Army senior defensive back from Long Island, Elijah Riley. Elijah, good to see you. Uh, tough game out at uh, Air Force last week, but you guys gave it everything you had. What were your kind of thoughts on the game? Uh, you know, it's a frustrating loss, especially since it's a, another academy team. Always want to get those CIC wins, but... Um, you know, it's another opportunity for us to mix, fix the mistakes that we had and uh, beat UMass. you got a lot of young players on your defense this year, uh, filling in, uh, covering injuries, and, and just uh, moving up. How has it been to work and worth the young players on your defensive unit? You know, I've been in their shoes before. It's a tough position to be in. You know, you're really focused on just trying to get your job done and doing it correctly. And, um, you know, they've been doing a great job. It's hard out there. And... Uh, you know, we're working with them every day. I've seen you guys, myself, Jalen, uh, Cameron, Ryan Velez, and um, we're just working to keep them on pace and going forward to be even better. Hey, just in front of you, Cole Christensen, 16 tackles last week at Air Force, and he seems like he does that every week. And uh, not a lot of recognition, really, I, I would say. What is it like playing uh, with a fellow captain right in front of you who's, who's making plays uh, every, you know, all the time? Yeah, no, he's a baller. I love playing out there with Cole. Um, he keeps the energy out there on the field with us. 
Um, I didn't know it. I was watching the Air Force tape, and I saw that he had two tackles in one play, <laughs> which is, you know, you, you don't see that ever. So, um, no, he's a baller, and, and he's, he's had an amazing season so far. And you've had a great season. Uh, you've been able to put pressure on quarterbacks. You've been rushing. You've been getting sacks. You're making tackles. Uh, what is it like for you uh, just to be a senior and, uh, and, and be able to have a lot of impact on the defense? You know, it's my last season here with the, the Army on my back. So, you know, I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying every, every second out there on the field. I'm soaking it all in, even out here on the practice field. I'm, I'm enjoying myself every opportunity I get to be out here. Now I can tell the way you play. And uh, now you got a big uh, night branch week coming up. Branch night coming up next week. Uh, is there part of the Army that you have your eye on? Uh, I'm looking to go signal branch, but we'll see how it goes. What's your academic area here at West Point, your major? Uh, sociology major. That's great. Yeah, my sister is a PhD in sociology. That's a good field. And uh, so uh, what, what's your thought? You're going to, um, I'm sure you're looking forward to be playing at home on Saturday against Massachusetts and uh, having the core back uh, uh, right behind you. What's it like to uh, thought about playing at Mikey Stadium on Saturday? Yes, yeah, um, you know, my second to last time playing at Mikey Stadium. So it's surreal almost. The season's been flying by. Um, Moving at light speed, really, and uh, another opportunity to play in Mikey's about to be uh, a great. Well, they always say, you know, they talk about the 47 months here at West Point, and you've been playing football, and you only have a few precious games left. So I, I know, is, is it a sense of just trying to make the most out of every moment? Yeah, no, I, I love the game of football. So no matter what, I'm, I'm enjoying myself out there on the field. But as being my senior year here in Mikey, I'm definitely soaking it all in. Elijah Riley from Long Island. What town Long Island is it? Port Jefferson. That's great. i uh, sure everybody out there is very proud of uh, your efforts here at West Point. And really great to talk with you. Best wishes from everybody at the American Legion. Absolutely. Thank you. Good to see you. It's Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at West Point. Coach, uh, just uh, uh, how is the practice this week? Uh, I know there was a sting coming off of the Air Force uh, game. How do how you work with the players to uh, move on? We just got to get back in there and fight, and that's that's the bottom line. You you can you can quit and roll over and feel sorry for yourself, or you can get in there and fight. You got two choices. So uh, I know personally, I'm going to fight, and I'm going to try to inspire and motivate everybody out here to fight and and try to get the results we want on Saturday. Good. Well, you, you had to make a lot of changes on your offensive line. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. Do you feel like the offensive line situation will settle down a little bit now? Uh, in terms of settle down, I, <laughs> I, I don't know if we're going to look any different than we did last week, but maybe those guys getting some experience last week will will uh, will help it settle down. But we're we're really beat up on the offensive line, and and that's not the only position we're you know we're struggling a little bit with that right now. Got to ask about Cole Christensen. He had a big game Saturday, 16 tackles. He's having a great season, uh, and uh, just helping anchor the defense. He's doing a good job. He's. Uh, you know, he's been a really good leader for our team, and and uh, he's a good player, tough player, and he did have a good game on Saturday. It just, I wish we maybe could have found a way to make one more tackle, and uh, and 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 uh, may have helped us win the win the football game. Coach, I, I've asked you guys this before. You know, and this has sort of been the theme in the past couple of weeks in terms of you know battling and you know keeping games close. It's always something you guys expect with Army. Is there anything you know with this team, whether you know it's the way they're playing or the approach in terms of being able to come out on top of the battles, or has it just sort of been, you know, the way that the other teams have approached you? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't know if I've got a good answer for that. You know, in the past three years leading up to this season, we had won a lot of close games. And I mean, that's not by choice. I'd, I'd like to blow people out and be, a, you know, not so agonizing. But um, that's just not who we've been and who we are. We, we're... we're there's going to be limited possessions in our games. They're going to be close games, and, and we found a way to win those. And unfortunately, this year, we're just not finding a way to win them. And Saturday's a perfect example. We had an opportunity there at the end, and, and we couldn't punch it in. And uh, unfortunately, we, we came up on the short end again. So uh, we, we just got to continue to, to do what we believe in, try to play our brand of football, which has been uh, really successful for us the last few years. And, uh, and hopefully that's going to be good enough. And I think it will be if we'll just play as well, as well as we're capable of playing. What specifically, you know, looking into UMass, are you guys, gonna, are you guys seeing from them that you, you're going to really want to focus on in terms of executing what you've talked about before? It, it, the, the, just generally, just playing good defense and 
being in our gaps on the runs and and not turning guys loose in the passing game, being close enough to be able to make plays, making plays in space. Um, and they've got good athletes and good players, and 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 then offensively blocking guys, keeping them blocked, and uh, and moving the football and and getting first downs and and hopefully scoring enough points to win. I mean, it's just generally those are the things that we need to do and do better uh, in order to win. And you know, it's it's been a it's been a long stretch. It's been a long time since we won a football game this year, and it's you know it's it's hard. It's hard when you go through something like this, but. You know, the, the encouraging thing is that our guys continue to battle and continue to fight, and and it, every one of the games has been close, and we just we're not finding a way. So I just want to see that spirit come out in our team and 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 find a way to win the football game. That's that's all that matters to me on Saturday. I think that's all that matters to our team. You said that uh, you know, winning is hard, um, and the players talked about trying to go one and zero every week. Do you feel like they've let these accumulating losses get to their head at all? Uh, it gets to your head and to your heart. It does that for any team. You, you can go ask any coach that's that's struggling through a, a season, and and uh, and they'll tell you the same thing. If if they say no, nah, it doesn't affect us. Well, that's either a lie or or it's a team of guys that don't care. Well, our guys care, and our guys have a lot invested, and they've worked really really hard. And uh, and so sure, when you're on a when you're when you're on a stretch where you're not winning, uh, it, it certainly affects your head and uh, and your confidence and all of those things. But uh, again, you know, Saturday we 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 went right to the wire and had a chance to win. And and uh, had we made a couple more plays, we would have. And, uh, you know, the players talked about how they had a lot of goals going into the season. Obviously, beat Navy's still on the board. What are some other goals that you're still trying to accomplish? We just want to win a game this week, and I and and. Frankly, that's all that matters right now. Uh, Long-term season goals, that it's, they're, of, uh, they're of no matter right now. The only thing that's important is, is to try to play our best this week, improve, and, uh, and somehow find a way to win. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you gentlemen.